thou art revealed. For ye are the harbor, for whereas there is among you envy and strife, the decisions are ye not corner, and walk as they. For why for why one say, I am of power, I am of I am of Apollos. Are you in a part of? Who then is Paul? And who is Apollos? But ministers by whom you believe. Even as the Lord gave to enemies. I have not Apollos water, but God gave me peace. So then we have seen that planted anything is that we see that water. But God is that even to increase. Now he that planted and is that water are one. And every man shall receive his own reward according to his own labor. For we are laborers together with God. We, sorry, we are God's husband. We are God's giving. According to the grace of God, which is given unto me, as a wise master of him, I have made foundation and another building there. But I, I, sorry. But let everyone take heed how he did it there. For under a foundation can no man make that. That is the to be the Jesus Christ. Now, if any man is upon his foundation, gold, silver, precious stones, wood, hay, stone, every man's work shall be made manifested. For the day shall be clear, because he shall be revealed by fire, and the fire shall shine every man's work to what sort it is. If any man were a man which is at the end, there upon, he shall receive a reward. If any man's word shall be delivered, he shall suffer loss. But the same yet so many times, knowing not that we are the temple of God and the state of our works will be.
out there and serve him, no matter what the circumstances. You know, my church is at seven miles. It's at seven miles, but it's the holy and the holiest. Okay. Yes. So I'm inviting you one Sunday to come here. The people are warm and welcome. And I tell you, it's exciting when you're around them. It, it wants you to stay there. So I'm encouraging you to come out and meet Jesus. Okay. Okay, my brother. And I want to see you one day. I'm looking forward to see you. Next week, Sunday, we have a service coming up. And it is hot. I mean, it's hot. Why hot? Because Jesus is there. I will be there. Bless you, bless you. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord, church. Bless the Lord, church. Praise the Lord, church. Can I hear him? Can I hear your hallelujah? Can I hear your glory? Can I hear praise the Lord? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You have any answer beside yours this morning? Is there anything else here? What about you, my brother? Oh, the Lord bless you, the Lord bless you, the Lord bless you. The Bible said, Young man, I write unto you because you are strong. And in first, in St. John 1 from 11 and 12, it said, Him and his own, and his own receive him not. But as many receive him to that church, he gave the power to become the sons and daughters of God. I want to encourage somebody this morning, make it right with Jesus, walk with Jesus, talk with Jesus. You want to do this? You want to come up? Come to Jesus Christ and he will empower you. He will give you the right to become the sons of God. My brother and our church, we feed you young and hungry. We feed you poor. We kill up for everybody. The rich. We kill up for the young. We kill up for the nigger. We don't matter the class that you are, but we kill up for heaven. I want to tell you our mother said, the family church at Seven Mile, we are all our welcome. So we don't care about your gender. You are welcome at Seven Mile, my brother. And we, we, have, we have program where we feed the people in the community, my brother. We give them water. We give them food. We take, take care of them. We give them a little thing when they are not able to take care of themselves. So I want to tell you, my brother, we we'll welcome you at Seven Mile. We we'll welcome you to our business and service. So, my brother, I want to pray with you this morning and lead you to that man, Jesus Christ, because I know he came for you. Can you bow your heads? Most righteous, eternal, everlasting Father. Father God, as this young man, oh God, as he stand in the first man, I stand for you, God. I pray this morning, God, that you give your life to you, mighty God. I pray to you, mighty God, that you will seal it, mighty God, until the day of redemption, mighty Father. Father God, I put you in your hands, I put you in your care, mighty God. I give you thanks in order name, for the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Can I ask you a question, Christian, sir? Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you a Christian? Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Do you want to be the life of the Lord Jesus Christ? Just be damned if you want to be the life of the Lord Jesus Christ. So, come on. Come on, buddy. Keep on the Lord. Keep on the Lord. Keep on the Lord. Anything you want to share? Yes, sir. Sir, just like you, you are telling me, Jesus. Because I'm telling you, yes, you are telling me the same thing. And you say yes. And then, you know, please say one little bit of things that you must say. I don't want to see Jesus and pray for me. So now I want to let me see him and pray. Well, my brother, don't get yourself confused. Once you say yes to Jesus Christ, you are sealed. The Bible said in first in Corinthians, first Corinthians 1, from 3 down. It said, Power plant, Apollos water, but God give the increase. So once I say Jesus Christ, the final step in our good Bible believing church, one that teaches the word of God and talk about Jesus Christ. So my brother, you are saved. So don't confuse yourself. Sir, so, sir, so if you tell me you're here in church, and the brother tell me you're feel church, and the next brother tell me you're feel church, what does it mean you want to go to my church? I mean you want to go. You want to go to one church, I don't know the road, it's a ministry of religion. You want to church me like Yes, you feel, you feel to go to the church. You feel to go to any church that's out there. It's a lot of spirit of God. Needed to that church. So you're not, not vexing yourself. No, they might vex, but I got 
divine healing over your daughter, over that child, because they know that God is able. Praise the name of Jesus. Um, this Saturday, let me make sure I do this before I forget. This Saturday will be the funeral service for Mother Douglas. Um, she will be the um, funeral service will be taken place by Samiza. And um, I will get the time to you during the course of this week because I should be going to meet with the family and we set the time and so on. But it is this Saturday. Alright, and uh, I just want you to be mindful of that as well. I know that um, with Brother Basil's funeral, we did um, have some persons viewing the body and so on. It's 15 persons uh, will attend the funeral service, but persons can come and view the body and, and leave. You know, that, that's how it can be. Alright, but 15 persons will be at the gathering. Alright, I just want to make that clear. You know. We also want to greet those on social media. God bless you, our social media family. God bless you, God bless you. Um, I also want to say, uh, add my own congratulations to the daughters and the son of Seven Miles who have been successful in their cave subject. Sister Arika, who is here, bless the name of the Lord. She looks so beautiful this morning. Bless the name of the Lord. <laughs> we really thank God for her achievement. Um, I know Sister uh, Kimoy, uh, Sister Shaboya, Shaboya, um, she got a grade one in math and she's just in third form. Can you imagine? Bless the name of the Lord. Also, um, Amari, right? Um, Omari, Omari, we want to say congratulations to all of you. You have done well. And there are other persons who, um, other youngsters who the parents attend this church. We, though we have not seen them, but they also have been successful. And we want to say congratulations to you so much. Um, Sister Ricky's son. And there are other persons, hopefully I will get the names afterwards. But we want to continue to celebrate your achievement. Amen. In the church at Seven Miles, we continue to rejoice. Hallelujah. Because the church is, the future looks bright. The future looks bright. Come on church. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. Um, let me just say this out of the way that after we, we end service today, I don't have to come back. Um, this evening at 5.30, 5 o'clock rather, will be the prayer walk in the community. I did, I know, I've been announcing it for the past couple of weeks. So I'm, I'm really expecting our, our members to be out this evening. We will not neglect the community. The community is a part of our program, our God-given mandate, as the Lord said that we are to go in here for right? And that is what we are about. So we want to go into the community this evening at 5 p.m. I want us to meet on the church room before that. It will be an hour and a half um, of going into the community. We are not able to have nine services, whether on a Tuesday night, or Friday night in Ulster, as we normally would have, and also on a Sunday evening. So church will really want to use this time to minister to God's people, to evangelize the, 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 the message of salvation to God's people. So I'm expecting all of us to be out this evening at 5 p.m. so that we can comb the area of the community and, and, and invade the place with some prayers. Amen? Amen. 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 Some weird persons not saying amen. Church, remember the Lord says that if you love me, feed my sheep. Amen. 
If you love Jesus, you have to feed his sheep. And that's the way that we are going to demonstrate that we love the Lord. But I want all of us to be out this evening. I know some of you may have um, other engagements and so forth, which we do understand. But we want to ensure that we make time for the ministry to evangelize our community. Church, let me say, if we think about one day in church, and we do so well in church, we do exceptionally well in church. We pray well in church, we sing well in church, we preach well in church, we encourage well in church. We need to go out here and do the same. Amen? Amen. 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 We, we don't want to be a church giant. We don't want to be a four-wall giant. When we are in church, we are, my God, you look so nice in church. You know, let, let that church become a magnifying glass. Where when you use the magnifying glass, it blows up everything. But when you're out on the street and you think of that magnifying glass, you are nowhere to be found. Amen? You are nowhere to be found. We don't want to be like that. And this um, is, is really something to segue into my message that I have for us today. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, if I'm going to preach, if I'm going to teach, if I'm going to. But let the Lord have his way today because I believe that the Lord wants to speak to us. I'm also asking uh, for prayer for my sister. My sister is in the hospital. She's not. Uh, doing so well. A uh, couple of weeks ago, it was my wife's sister. Now it's my sister who is in the hospital. Um, I know that we are living in a real trouble some time. So many things are happening. Um, and I know many other members of our church, we have other relatives that are not doing well also. So we, we're going to pray. We're going to pray today. Um, if the baby is here, we're going to pray for the baby just now. I'm going to ask the ministers um, who are here to, um, yes, the baby is here. Oh, my God. So I'm going to ask the, the ministers, you know, as we observe the physical distance in this prayer, just to stand down here. I'm going to ask the mother to come with the baby just now. And we are going to pray that God will touch the baby. That is healing hands to be upon this child. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. We believe in the Lord. We believe in the power of miracle. We, be, we believe in divine healing. Amen. We believe, come on, church, agree with me. We believe in divine healing. Amen. Praise the name of the Lord. And at this time, I'm going to invite us to. Stand as we go into prayer on behalf of this beautiful baby that the Lord will administrate healing upon this child. In the name of Jesus, we see healing over this child. We declare that every sickness will go from this child's body. We declare in the name of Jesus that this child will grow a healthy child. We come against every physical issue, every sickness right now in our body. We command it to go in Jesus' name. We command every sickness to dry up now in Jesus' name. We speak the, the sickness right now. Your time is up. Your time is up in Jesus' name. And we declare healing right now over this child. We declare in the mighty name of Jesus that this child will receive healing by the power and the authority of the living God. We pray in Jesus' name that the body will change right now. 
all glory to God. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, we declare, we declare, we declare, we declare your awesome power. Your divine healing right now. Your divine healing right now. Your divine healing right now. Over this child in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Shall be to the hospital God. Oh Jesus, and she's still not well. But I know, Jesus, hallelujah, that you are the doctor of all doctors. And we pray, Jesus' name, hallelujah, that is shining in the I pray right now, God, for the mother. I pray that you lay hands upon her, Jesus. I pray that you give her strength. I pray that God will help her, Jesus. Oh, hallelujah, to press through and to look to you, Lord, who is the author and the finisher of her faith. She will look to you, Jesus. She will look to you and believe that you are a healer, that you are a believer, that you are a prophet, that you are a burning peer, that you are God. Jesus, he did right now. Put your Lord from the throne of her head to the sword of her feet. 
Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, visit some of us, our homes. Visit our family members right now. In the name of Jesus. There are problems at home. Things are not right at home. But we send the angels of the Lord right now. Even those on social media. We send the angels of the Lord to visit these homes right now. Shoko Lolo Sata. Rebele Siki Nele Shantai. Jose Deya. Robo Siki Nele Shanta. We send the army of God right now. The angels of the Almighty God with, with flaming sword to fight this battle for us. Fight this battle for us, Jesus. Fight this battle for us, God. Fight this battle for us, Holy Spirit. This is the homes right now. In the name of Jesus, quench your fiery darts again. Quench your fiery darts. Quench your fire darts. Quench your fiery darts. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Quench your fiery darts. In the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I wish somebody would just. Hallelujah. If we can serve in the right now. Oh, glory to God. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. We set the fire of God.
it is going to get worse. But stay focused. Be conscious. Let me read this quickly because I don't want to be now. Jesus, God, help me. Pray for me. The elders which are among you, this is 1 Peter 5. The elders which are among you, I exhort. Who am I? An elder and a witness of the suffering of Christ Jesus. Hearer of the suffering of Christ Jesus. Of the what? Of the what? Suffering. Hallelujah. It never said enjoyment or the relaxation of Jesus Christ. It said the suffering. Hallelujah. Of Jesus Christ. Of the glory that shall be revealed. My God. After the suffering shall, there shall be a glory. Oh, glory to God. Come on, somebody, you need to rejoice. Hallelujah. It says, Feed the flock of God which is among you. Take the oversight thereof, not by constraining, but with willing it, not for the filthy lucre, but a ready man. Neither be, sorry, neither as be Lord over God's heritage, but be an example to the flock. Praise the name of the Lord. And when the shepherd, sorry, the, the chief shepherd shall appear, he shall receive a crown of glory that faded not away. Come on, church. Hallelujah. Encourage yourself. Likewise, he young girls. So make yourself unto the elders. Yea, all of you be subject one to another and clothed with humility. For God receives the proud and give grace to the humble. My God. Only yourself here of under the mighty hand of God that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all the cares upon him for he cares for you. This is the part I want us to look at. Verse 8. Be sober. Be vigilant. Because the adversary will tell as a roaring lion walking about seeking whom he may live up. Who resists? Sorry. Who resists steadfast in the faith? Knowing that the same affliction are accomplished in your in your brethren that are in the world. But the God of all grace, who has called us unto eternal glory by Jesus Christ, of Christ Jesus, after that he has suffered a while. Suffering a while. Church, the suffering might just be him. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Make your perfect, stable, sorry, establish strength and settle you. To him be glory and admonish, admonish, sorry, him dominion forever and ever. By Silvanus, a faithful brother, unto you as I suppose that having written briefly, let me just stop here. All the other are the um, doxology. Praise God. But I want us, church, verse 8 says, be sober, be vigilant, for your adversary, what you're going to it's not God that sent it. It is because of the time that we are living in now. What we are experiencing now is to try our faith. On Thursday night there was a covenant and I was preaching. I think it's Lord God help me to find that scripture. Where it says that for and the righteous if the elect are scarcely saved, what we shall the ungodly appear. It simply means that there are some people that are most so unbelievers who are it's going to be hard for them to accept Jesus Christ. Because the world is enticing. And they don't believe that there's a God anymore. 
then that Christian should not be here today. They should have been translated. But I want to let somebody know it's time to get serious about attacking the problems and attacking the situations. Attacking what the enemy has brought upon you and upon your home. You've got to fight for this. It's not going to get easier. Be conscious. It's to be aware of what is happening around you. And we as Christians, we as Christians, we need to be conscious about what is happening around us. Come on. Hallelujah. Not only be conscious, but we have to respond to what is happening. You can't just sit down and say, Lord God, I'm going to be again a problem. I'm going to be a persecution. I'm going to be a day of trial. I'm going to be a tribulation. The Bible said that we have to go through and to be conscious. Respond to it with your prayer. Respond to it with your worship. Respond to it by calling on the name of Jesus. Be, oh my God, respond to it by pleading the blood of Jesus Christ. But you cannot roll over and die. You've got to fight. There's a song that says, Christian soldiers, the war is on. Christian soldiers, the war is on. You just can't sit down. You just can't stay home. You've got to walk. You've got to fight. The good fight of it. Greater is he. That is in you. Come on. Hallelujah. When the devil see us, the devil wants to see us so they can whip. I said, if I went to push on that, I bust on that. My God, you need to let the devil know. Yo, hallelujah. That is a power. That is a spider of me. I tell you, come on. It's not just me that I can see you. But I'm a leader of the angels. I am a host of angels. I love you. I am protected. There's power in the name of Jesus. There's power in the name of Jesus. To break every chain. To break every pepper. In this day and age. In this last day. Hallelujah. God is going to allow you to rejoice in your situation. In your problems, you're going to rejoice. In your time of desperation. In your time when it seems like nobody cares. And nobody is around you. God is going to allow you to rejoice. Come on. Church, you don't believe Come on. Don't get it. Hallelujah. In all that you're going through, you're going to rejoice. You're going to rejoice. You're going to rejoice. Hallelujah. 
appreciate this person in power. I'm going to wrap up. Learn to appreciate this person in time, church. Learn to appreciate the problems that you're going through. What am I talking about? Learn to appreciate all that the devil brings at you and throws at you. Learn to appreciate them. You know why? Because the scripture tells us about it. That in this last days, Hallelujah. We are going to go through all these kinds of tribulations. Many are the afflictions of the righteous. Come on. Come on, church. Brother Deva, your problem, rejoice in your problem. Appreciate the problem. I am in God's history because I am living in a time where I see the promises of Jesus Christ being fulfilled. Hallelujah. But I have, I have a response. 
responsibility. That's what the Bible says. I need to, I need to, 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 to get my mind set. Hallelujah. Condition it in my mind that this is what is going to happen. Come on. For I reckon that the suffering of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory that shall be revealed in us. I know that there is something great that is coming after the suffering. My God. After the suffering. Glory. Sister Vanessa. After the suffering. Glory. Come on. Hallelujah. After the suffering. You just look. After your suffering, my sister. After your suffering, my brother. You shall glorify with God together. I say to the devil, bring it up. Bring it up. It may look like I'm surrounded, but I'm surrounded by God. Greater is he that is in me. I'm telling my prophets I'm going to survive. I'm telling sickness I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to survive. I'm telling my prophets that oh, I'm going to survive. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. I'm telling all the troubles. Uh, I have troubles on every side. Troubles on the head. Troubles on the right. Troubles on the right. Troubles on the poor. In the hope or in the word of God. Rest on God's word. Church, rest on God's word. Tell your neighbor, rest on God's word. I have to chop this message. Start a watch party with the word. Lord have mercy. I've seen people on social media love to start a watch party. When I'm saying to us today, start a watch party with the word of God. Start a watch party with what is happening. For oh, glory to God. I don't know if you have these scriptures ready for me, sister. Glory to God. First Timothy chapter 4 from 1 to 7. Come on. We're going to read together. Just mock that. Hallelujah. Praise the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Come on, let's read together. Though the Spirit speak expresses that in the time. Come on, yes. Forbidding to marry and commanding to abstain from me. Which God has created to receive with thanksgiving them which believe and know the truth. For every creature of God is good, nothing to be refused, it is to be received with thanksgiving. For it is sanctified by the word of God and prayer. If thou put the perfect in remembrance of these days, thou shalt be a minister of Jesus Christ, nourishing of word and faith, of good doctrine. We are unto thou shalt for no other pain. Hallelujah. Praise God. Let me tell the church, these are not the days that we listen to things that are not beneficial to our spirit. But these are the days when we need to spend more time in the word of God. Let us read these scriptures. Hallelujah. Praise God. Matthew, yes, Matthew 24 and verse 22. And it says, Except those days be shine. What is it saying, church? That we are living in the end time. It is the beginning of the end. It is not the beginning. 
beginning of the end. Go back to that. Yes, they are right here. Hallelujah. Except for those days we shortened. And we see it in no church. That the days are shortened. Come on, we're going to read this together. Hallelujah. That is telling us that we are in for something. Something is coming. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Let, let, let's, con let's continue with that. With that same um, scripture. Uh, verse 37 and 39. 37 and 39. I think this is supposed to have it. Praise the name of Jesus. Oh, glory to God. Hallelujah. Come on, let's worship the Lord Church. Come on, let's worship Him. Let's worship Him. Praise God. Hallelujah. 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 God is a good God. Anyway, let's, let's move on. Let's move on to the next one. Praise God. First Thessalonians 5. 1 to 11. It says, But on the time and the season, brethren, ye have no need that I write unto you. For yourself know it perfectly that the day of the Lord so coming as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as prevail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. But he perfect and not in darkness, that they, that they should overtake you as a thief. Ye are children of the light and the children of the day. We are not of the night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others, but let us watch and be sober. For they that sleep, sleep in the night, and they that be drunken are drunken in the night. But let us who are of the day be sober, Put on the breastplate of faith, love, and for an enemy that the hope of salvation. For God hath not appointed us to wrath, but to obtain salvation by our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we be wake or see, we shall live together with him. Wherefore, comfort ye. And say to us, church, we are not children of the darkness. In, in other words, we are not going to live in sin. Sin is, sin is darkness. We are not going to walk in sin. We are not going to carry in sin. We are not going to live our dwell here in sin. We are going to be children of the light. That when the Lord comes as a thief in the night, that they should not overtake us. Come on. That they should not overtake us. Galatians 5, 1. Praise God. Alright, let, let, let's, let's see. Okay, let's see that one. Romans, yes. Oh, glory to God. Let, let's go with that one. Romans chapter 8, verse 35 to 39. I'm just encouraging the church. I, I want you to get these words and I want you to read these words. I want you to, to, to resonate, to put them in your mind. Hallelujah, because of the time that we are living in. Hallelujah, the days that we are living in. Come on, let's read together. Who shall separate us from the love of Christ? Shall tribulation, our distress, our persecution, our famine, our nakedness, our perils, our sword, as it is written? For I say we are king. Hold on. Sorry. When you accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you have said to yourself that I am a I am no longer a slave to sin. You, you have now taken on the cross of Jesus Christ. You have now, what Jesus said, that if any man should come after me, say Matthew 11 verse 24. Come on. If any man should do, come after me, let him deny himself. Take up the cross. That is why we can now look to this and say, as it is written for thy sake, we are killed. Come on, church. Oh, glory to God, because some people think our bread and butter uh, are our chicken and chips, Christian lifestyle. No! It's not that. Jesus of mercy. Hallelujah. All the day long, we have to go through these kinds of separation. We are accounted. A sheep. So you know what's up problems. You know what's up tribulation. You know what's up persecution. You know what's up all these things coming at you. Come on, church. We need to wake up to these things. Nay, in all these things, we are what? More than conquerors to him. Come on, church. Somebody need to glorify God. Come on. 
until next time. Get those scriptures. Meditate upon them. Let them be a light for you through the course of this week. Breathe, sleep, eat these words because you shall glorify together with Jesus Christ. God bless you. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody, praise the name of Jesus. Why don't we 